Oh, that was kind of loud. Uh, but I did modify my Series 80 cold here. Let me show you what I did to it. I uh, set it up for a suppressor. Can you believe that? Yeah, you better not believe me, had you? Actually, what I have here is uh, a GSG, German sports guns, and 1911 and 22 caliber. I'll show you the other side. Make sure we're clear here again. We are. Get the mag out. It is uh, imported by ATI, made in Germany. Okay, this is a Kind of a borrowed gun. Eric from NC Silencers brought this by when he happened to be in a neighborhood along with the suppressor. Pretty cool, huh? So I uh, couldn't resist uh, shooting it and I thought I'd bring you bring you in. I knew you wouldn't want to miss this. So that was a little loud, wasn't it? It's uh, actually better to uh, to shoot with a uh, can screwed onto the barrel. So let's just do that. This is, by the way, a uh, Thompson machine. Let me find the exact date. It's a Thompson machine uh, ISIS 22 suppressor. Okay, Thompson machine ISIS 22, and it is uh, yeah. Make sure I got that right. And it's a little smaller than uh, what you might have seen uh, on other guns, uh, larger caliber uh, around here at the compound. And it's also, by the way, one of the uh, least expensive ways to get into a, a suppressor. By the way, you know, with a 22. Not quite as expensive, you know, maybe three, four hundred bucks. I don't know. You, you can get into it a little bit, uh, uh, you know, less expensively uh, with the 22. Good place to start and uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Now, we're shooting, those were mini mags, okay? Regular 22 long rifle, 12, 35 feet per second, actually. But they were pretty quiet in this, I think. We'll try it. Let's load a couple up here. We just have one magazine, but we'll still shoot a few rounds, okay? So this, this 1911, by the way, uh, Eric tells me is uh, not, not all that familiar with this particular gun, but that it uh, is about 80% interchangeable with a standard 1911 and supposed to be the same weight and everything. So uh, good trainer. Of course, with the can on it, it changes things a little bit, doesn't it? All right. Let's see if it's a little quieter. See if we can throw these away. See how it sounds. Okay, why don't we just go on out there, lob some long range. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, I see a barrel over there too. <laughs> I don't think it'll knock anything over. I'll see if I can hit that turkey. I, I'm surprised the sights are that close with the suppressor on. Hmm. Hmm. Pounds of that turkey. He's a little heavy to knock over with a 22. You know, that's fun. That is really neat. Pretty quiet. Tell you what. Uh, there's just something neat about a suppressor where most of what you hear is the bolt and the target getting hit, whatever that target might be. So we'll uh, shoot a couple of different things here, see how it sounds. And have some more fun with this thing. All right. I always have to keep checking on them, make sure they're tight. We have a couple of pans set up here. <laughs> all right, we got pans hanging all over the place. Let's hope my wife doesn't come in before we uh, dispense with all these cooking utensils give us time to tell her about the robbery how someone came in and cleaned out the kitchen pretty neat keep it tight yeah I like that you know you uh, of course if you had one of these you could probably get your hands on some more magazines go out and just blast away for a while reload when you got in the mood it really looks like uh, standard 1911 doesn't it, it uh, did a good job of copying the old slab sides there. In fact, most of you probably believe that was my Series 80, didn't you? Admit it. Okay. Should we? Uh, let's see if the sights are really on. Uh, they seem to be on, but uh, that red plate will tell the story.
Wow. You know, they really are pretty close. I was mean, just shooting too fast there, but uh, pretty close. That is neat. We'll load one more here. Uh, again, this is uh, one of the least expensive ways to get into a suppressor uh, for those who are interested. And they are legal. You know, whenever we post something, shooting a, a bump fire stock or a suppressor or a fully automatic uh, firearm or select fire, it's interesting. There's always in the comment sections that, are those legal? Uh, I try to behave myself. Be kind. <laughs> if they weren't legal, would we be doing it in a video? Not that I do all kinds of illegal things off video or anything, but I certainly wouldn't be doing it in a video. They are perfectly legal. Just check your local laws. Go to the websites. I know the NC Silencer has uh, information and links on this, as, as others do. And you can learn all about what it takes to, to buy one of these. They're perfectly legal in most states. All right. My last magazine. Well, let's try a little one-handed shooting. This long thing. I think I'll try that goat on the left. You think it'll knock it over? I don't think so. Let's try the next one. What might it not? I know what it might knock over is a pig. Let's try that pig to the left of the goat. Sometimes they'll fall. One over him. Ah. All right. Well, at least I hit him. We must have about one more round. It's only fitting that we put it on the big friendly gong. Yep, guessed right. So that's a pretty neat gun and a pretty neat outfit. Uh, German sport gun, GSG, 1911. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Thompson machine, ISIS 22 suppressor. No home is complete without this rig. Life is good.